smells really good. We have six of these to try, so I'm in three already. <laughs> Show you something that I have never seen before in my life. Hey travel lovers, and welcome to A Wanderlust for Life, the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. I'm Jessica, and today we are bringing you to the little town of Schiedam, right outside of Rotterdam. And let me tell you, it is a gem. And did you know it was the grandfather of Yenever and Jin? So you know it's like the perfect place for us. So let's go see what we can get into. Schiedam is actually known for some incredibly tall windmills, some of the tallest in the world. At one point, there were over 400 distilleries here in town, and they had about 30 windmills, and 20 of those were just to support the distilleries, which is so crazy. So they were um, dealing with the barley malt and everything like that. So there are still a lot here to see, and this is one of them that you can come up and visit. There's a whole museum about it. You can get an amazing view over town. And next up, we have a canal cruise, obviously. So let's go see what we can see from the canal. If possible, you should always try to see a place by the water, get a different perspective, and this is no exception. You'll go down the main canal and see some of the main sites, but also you'll see some of the windmills and even some of the old distilleries that are still in service. The tour is in Dutch, but they give you a little booklet so you can follow along in English. As self-proclaimed foodies, of course, we have to do a foodie activity. So here in Schiedam, you can actually come to this chocolate shop, De Bonteco, and it means the spotted cow. And it was started in 1992, and this is where it all began. So you can come here and take a tour. So we're talking like a full tour of how everything's made, a little tasting, pretend like you're a little chocolatier for the day, and they will take you through the whole process. And of course, you get to try the chocolate and get some bonbons. Now, what's really important here is it's all fair trade and organic. The dark chocolate is vegan and they even have a vegan milk chocolate made from a non-dairy milk powder, which is just bonkers to me. I think it's a, a rice milk powder. And so you get to try all of these different kinds. And I wanna know from you, are you a white fan, milk or dark? We're gonna give the dark a try. Super smooth, so rich, bitter enough so that you know it's actually dark chocolate, but it is, perfectly like fruity and just oh just so good and rich like I would get that in a bar so I think we are going to go into the shop get some to take home but a drink and an actual bonbon is included so we'll get that first and show you something that I have never seen before in my life so let's go check it out I just found the coolest thing you have ever seen. I'm not even kidding. Have you heard of Fabo like in Amsterdam and people go and get like late night snacks and they tap their card and food is available for them to pull out of the wall? This is for chocolate. Same idea, but chocolate. So we just did the, uh, you know, tour inside and now I'm gonna get a bar of chocolate from a wall outside. So first it says hit this to get started. And then you just put your phone up and pay, and then you pick one. And we're going for the gin because it is local gin as well, in chocolate. Can you really go wrong? So we just got chocolate from a wall. for Geneva, Geneva, however you want to call it. It can be spelled with a G or a J. I have been told that <laughs> that, that is absolutely fine. So here at the National Geneva Museum in Schiedam, it's this old Geneva warehouse and it goes through the whole process of how it actually goes from one thing to another. So they would bring the grains to the windmills where they would get, you know, in milled. <laughs> That's the whole point, right? and then it would go into one distillery and they kind of make like the base of um, the base alcohol and then it would go into a secondary kind of fabric and it would make it into whatever they were making. So for us, it was Geneva. And then 
like everything here is laid out for you. And then what I really, really love, because a lot of people are like, what's the difference between gin and Geneva and all these other different alcohols? Well, there's a whole setup for you to check it out. Not only that, it goes through kind of the history of the brands and the, the trade and the advertising. Like this place really goes into all of it in a really, really interesting and interactive way. So you get to like smell things and touch things. And you know, I'm all about the interactive. Mm. Yeah, so we're starting with gin and then we go into like light Geneva and then you kind of go down and the different ways that they actually make alcohol into. <laughs> Smells really good. Time for the tasting. So I've already had uh, two. So we've had just straight um, malt wine. And this is the one that has juniper in it, aged for three years. And then I'm gonna try this one that is 10 years. You can tell I've already been having a couple. Yeah, way more like depth, very like rounded, a lot more smooth. We have six of these to try, so I'm in three already. <laughs> Everybody told us that we had to come to 1714 for dinner and I'm so glad they did. So one of the reasons was because they have cocktails made with local spirits. Although if you looked at all the different spirits that come from Shredem, you probably have some of our local spirits and I think that is phenomenal and so exciting but also the food so we're going the bites route because it's called 1714 drinks and bites they have regular appetizers and entrees too but we just decided to get like a bunch of stuff because I mean why wouldn't you but it is such a beautiful day if I look like a mess it's because it was actually hot today and it's been really rainy and cold so <laughs> we've been running around just having such a good time guys I just have to tell you like the more we travel around the Netherlands, the more we absolutely keep falling in love with these smaller Dutch towns. And it just goes to show you that you really have to get out of Amsterdam. Like I've been saying that for years, y'all know I love Amsterdam, but Schiedam is on that like top of three list right now with Middleburg. If you haven't watched that video, watch it. And uh, Vorda, also have a video on that one, but we're gonna keep exploring because there's so much to see here. Like, it's just insane. And I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep exploring for you guys. Our final stop is at a cocktail bar because I figure if we go to the Yenever Museum, we really need to like tie in these local spirits for our final bit for the night, right? So we are here at Post Schiedam, and the name is actually brought back from a building like 60 years ago or so. And also like they kind of see Post as being a place that people can gather. And it's at this insane location, like with the best view ever outside, super cute inside. And they of course use local spirits. So I got, um, one from Sirius B and I have been wanting to try this spirit so it's a gin and it's like they have this whole thing around bees so we're definitely gonna come back and like explore more uh, with them but they are brand new so uh, we're gonna come back and see what they have to offer but for now I got this with um, rose lemonade tonic I think that's perfect yeah so the gin's kind of also formed around honey don't know how they do it yet because we didn't go there yet but we will so this is our last stop of the day so i want to say thank you so much for joining us it has been so much fun to experience freedom with you like all the bells and all the sounds just came out it was quiet like a second ago <laughs> we love this place so much we'll bring you back again but subscribe to the channel if you aren't already like the video if you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one bye guys